All right, so using Pivot Interactive. So we're going to be doing this in lab. Um, right now, I don't know if the assignment is going to be out of Canvas or we're just going to have to send you the link to Pivot Interactives. You'll have purchased a code for Pivot Interactives from the bookstore. And once you do that, you will log in with your own account. I'll send those instructions separately. Um, and when you've got your own account, you'll just follow the labs. And so the first lab we're going to be doing in Pivot Interactives is the um, density of metal shapes. It will give you the learning objectives on this. It will explain what it is you're going to need to know. So the videos here are going to be doing these metal ingots, which are just like pieces of metal. All of these are going to start with a video. So you're going to take and you're going to press the play and it's going to take and play the video. You can hit the little um, screen over the side and it's going to take and um, increase the size of the screen. And when it does that, you can take a look and see what all is going on. At some point, whatever measurement you're doing is going to stabilize. So I'm going to pause right there because the weight or the mass here has stabilized. Now, the interesting thing on Pivot Interactives is that they have tools. So what we're going to do is calculate the density. So to do this, we know that we need the mass, and they've just recorded that for us, over the volume. Well, this is the regular shape, so we can get the volume by the length, the width, and the height. So if we go to the tools and we click this little tools button here, we're going to get rulers. So if I pull out the ruler here, I can take and shift the ruler until it's sitting right here on the edge and I've got myself the 4.1, my units here are centimeters. I can do the height by switching to the other ruler and figuring out what that height is. And then if I can take and I continue, I can remove my tools there if I like. And if I continue the video here, rotate this piece of metal for me. And again, when it's nice and rotated and they've moved their fingers, I can pause it again, bring the um, the ruler back, and when I bring the ruler back, I can also measure here the width of this met, uh, metal block. And the measurements, I can go down and I can take and put in the um, density for this. So what are you going to do? You're going to take, you're going to watch the video. If there are measurements involved, you're going to click this little toolbar, and that is going to take and bring up the tools you need to make whatever measurement we're doing. It's probably going to give you a couple of basic questions first. So how do you calculate density, mass over volume, watching the video, how do you find the mass, how would you get the volume of each, and then you're going to take and follow the instructions. So here it says select two objects from the list. So if we go back up here, we can pick another substance. So I'm going to pick substance six. If I take and play that, it's going to take and replace the one that I have. So I'm going to clear that one out and I'm going to press six and try this again. And it's going to take and put the new object on and the new object is going to have a different mass. And I can get the mass on that one and we can continue and we can do the volume of that one instead. So that's going to be part one. Once you have your density measurements, your calculations, grams per cubic centimeter, you're going to compare that to the ones that we have here in the table and tell me what were the compositions of the two metal samples you measured. Make sure you include the numbers. And then you're going to do it for cylindrical ones. Now the cylindrical ones are going to have a, obviously we're going to measure them differently. So instead of doing um, the length times the width times the height, we're going to remember that the volume of a cube is pi r squared h. And again, you're going to use the ruler that comes with the tool set to get the measurements that you need when you're done. You'll hit submit, and that's it for the first lab.